then we uh, started feeling a sort of pressure on what was merging as a problem that never had uh, sh been seen, never had been seen in our country. This was uh, understood with a repressive uh, mind. The first uh, pressure started from several uh, universities, uh, schools, uh, civil associations to search solutions for this growing problem. In Uruguay, there was no studies a professional studies on this issue. The health department had not treated this theme. There were no resources. Then it uh, prevailed the repressive line. In this area, they took measures with what it was in that region, in Brazil, Argentina, there were some therapeutical uh, sites. And there, we uh, started uh, forming our own experience on this issue. It is here where we start understanding the uh, magnitude, the size of this problem, how this must be faced of, of drugs, and to start thinking about the needs to reduce damage, to bring the first experiences from Argentina, from the south of Brazil, that they had more experience that, than we did. According with Marcos Capato was saying, uh, the whole legislation becomes tangled in our countries when we approve or ratify any international convention. In my country, the Constitution says that the international treaties or agreements, they uh, become a part of the national legislation. In general, we try to legislate inside our uh, national jurisdiction. A decree of the executive uh, power this, the, to establish the, start, the strategy of our struggle against drug, according with the OEA, this, they have this repressive and hard line from which we have been talking, which involves our government beyond the process of the civil society establishes, and they are rethinking some other way of working with this issue. It means that we also have a ag regional agreement with that it works according with our legislation. We have several resolutions of Mercosur that covers Paraguay, Brazil, Uruguay, and Argentina that have become adapted to this control and distribution. And the lists of the International Convention of Mercosur and have opened some specific controls that have to deal with the free zones. What I would say is that one of our main concerns that I want to set up right here in this podium, uh, I haven't said it so far. I don't want to be too repetitive in relation what the position means in front of the human being that has the responsibility of consuming or not drugs and the consequences that they can face because of that use or abuse. Our societies in this moment, at least in the south of Latin America, Latin, uh, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, we have had a progressive uh, decay procedure and I think that, generally speaking, everywhere in Latin America, uh, aside of the legal frame, 
thousands and thousands of men and women that live in the in a l illegal status. All this uh, theme is very interesting. In my country that had those features, as I said, with a good social distribution, and I wouldn't say full uh, employment scheme, but since Argentina had a good a frame in that aspect. We used to swim across the Rio de la Plata to get good jobs. More than 20% for a well-educated population, for a very hard-working population that have consciousness about their rights and they know how to claim the state for their own rights. The procedure of these economical policies for all our countries to liberal policies of our products, the NAFTAs, the treaties, the agreements, a big, um, a big uh, nuclei of inhabitants have been living aside of these treaties. I think that the only way of income is to become involved in the illegal, illegal circuits. I think that this is an issue to add in this uh, program with related with what Item said this morning and Marco Capato as well, because in this future vision, we have to think how to include in the formality, in the legality, in the legal frame, uh, these people. We don't want them to uh, keep themselves in the illegal frame of selling drugs, but also we have to think in all those illegal uh, human nuclei to include them in our legal frame for work. Finally, since I have been told to finish with my speech. In my country, the discussion has been open. Our president has had, with his traditional liberal trend, he has said clearly in his conscience that is not a problem, the repression, but we must establish a line of work to the liberalization. There are some other trends that are the ones that promote the repression in its inside his own uh, gover governmental party. I think that President Bashi, I belong to the opposition, I myself belong to the, but in this line we share the same uh, view. The president of the National uh, Council on Drugs has opened the possibility in, in, re, in working, repairing the damage produced by drugs. So not anybody can assist to a specific treatment. We are open for debates that this uh, president feels himself alone in his own party.